We've had a red card here. It was a bad tackle from behind and uh, yeah, definite red. <laughs> Look who's on the pitch. I feel so lucky to be here. Look who's on the pitch at Broadwood Stadium. I've been here twice now. I've never been able to get inside the two times that I came in the uh, in the Footy Adventure Stadium lottery. But thankfully, someone from the club of Cumbernauld Colts reached out. They play here as well. They ground share with Clyde FC, as you can see over there. And they're playing tonight in a match against Kelty Hearts, who are managed by Barry Ferguson. And this is a Lowland League match, fifth tier game here in Scotland. Look at this, what a setting for tonight. It is a game under the floodlights here at Broadwood Stadium in Cumbernauld. And yes, it is a fifth tier match between Cumbernauld Colts and Kelty Hearts. Both obviously be uh, pushing for promotion nowadays as the league structure has changed slightly in Scotland. Teams that are in the fifth tier, the Highland and the Lowland League, are able to play in a playoff eventually, much like uh, Cove Rangers have recently, who I've been to visit, as well as another team, Edinburgh City. They've been in there as well so here we go look I am now in the goal before the match there we go absolutely buzzing cannot wait for this one to start and yeah so while some of the coaches are kind of setting up over there there's a community center over there which is like a gym and stuff and then you've got the three big stands here and this really is it has to be the best stadium at this level of football, the fifth tier. I've been to Berwick, very traditional old stadium there that they have, real grass. This here is artificial turf. You see, you cannot pick a piece of the grass. We're watching the game on our artificial pitch today, much like I did at Stenhouse Muir recently as well. And yeah, before we get into the video, I tell you a little bit more about the two teams and show you the match day experience and a little bit more of the stadium and stuff like that. This video is sponsored by buysellfootballshirts.co.uk. They are the first link in the description box below. That is to their website. And if you use the discount code FOOTY10, you can get a discount off your purchase. It's the first link in the description box below. They have shirts from a whole host of leagues from a, and countries from around the world. But yeah, they have some insane shirts um, from this one to this one. How mad is that? Yeah, so do go down there. Use the discount code FOOTY10. I'll also include their Instagram below as well. So go give them a follow and let them know I sent you. Cheers. Honestly, cannot tell you how excited I am. Just the feeling that I get when I stand inside a stadium like this waiting for kickoff of a game. I feel so lucky to be here. And a huge thank you to uh, Cumbernauld Colts and uh, Fraser, one of their coaches, for yeah reaching out and getting in contact with me. And look, doing the old thing that the linesmen do. Check that there's no holes in the net. And yeah, so prior to kickoff, I've got a bit of like freedom here just to go about the stadium but I think as the game starts I'll obviously have to just sit down and uh, stay in my seat and stuff but yeah look here I am this is where the corners get taken from imagine just whipping one in from here this honestly feels like a carpet it's very cool very nice surface obviously uh, artificial and this is the team I'm here to see today Cumbernauld Colts and that is where this stadium is based <laughs>
And yeah, you could see from the, from the facilities inside, from the changing rooms and stuff like that, how good the facilities here at Clyde FC are. Obviously, Cumbernauld Colts, who are there, the home team today, share with Clyde FC, who you can see written in the back there. Clyde FC are the League One team, and Cumbernauld Colts there in blue are the Lowland League team, so third tier and fifth tier. And yeah, the facilities here for a fifth tier side have got to be like the best in, uh, in this league, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I've not seen every stadium at this level, but yeah, you could tell from the uh, from the changing rooms that the uh, facilities are absolutely amazing. So yeah, a big draw for this team here to be able to you know say to the players that you can come and uh, play at this great stadium and have these amazing facilities. It's class. And the game's kicked off here. I feel so lucky to be here. I feel very appreciative that I'm here watching football when so many people can't. I hope I can do a good job and show you kind of what football's like at the moment. So please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. You can see in the early stages of this game that Kelty have always kind of got at least three men forward. There's four forward at the moment. Barry Ferguson down there shouting. <laughs> And as you can see there from Barry Ferguson's celebration, it is now 1-0 to Kelty Hearts. They've probably been the better side so far, they've been very attacking, they've had a couple of good chances and yeah, they've stuck one away now. 15, 16 minutes in, 1-0. They've got big ambitions this club, so it'll be interesting to see how they get on in, uh, in the next few years. Obviously they won this league last season and uh, didn't get the chance to go up, but they lead here today as they, uh, as they try to get promotion again. There we go, half time, 1 0 Kelty Hearts. Cumbernauld have uh, come into it a little bit more as the half went on, had a few chances, hit the bar from across as well, the boys in yellow, but so far haven't been able to break down Kelty Hearts. And uh, huge thanks again to Cumbernauld Colts. I'm really glad that clubs like Cumbernauld Colts and Stenhouse Muir, where I was the other day, and I've got another game coming up this weekend actually, so three games this month. I'm hoping to go to more in December as well. I'm really glad that um, clubs are starting to see, you know, YouTubers as legitimate press and uh, media and that kind of stuff. And it's a different way of showing the game than kind of a sports report on a website or the official highlights of the game. So yeah, huge thanks to clubs like this. And it's good that YouTubers are getting recognition and being able to come to matches like this. And yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing to be here. I cannot believe my luck. Keep pinching myself that I'm here. Can't be that for a bit of hospitality. Free pie and a bovril down there. Come on. You can see the celebration of the Kelty Hearts players. It's 2 0, five minutes into the second half. There we go. He scored a brace. That's the end of the pie. Barry Ferguson doing his best Bielsa impression. We've had a red card here. Oof. That was a terrible tackle, to be fair. So you've just had a red card. There should have been a foul on the edge of that box over there. And you could hear everyone telling the linesman what they thought of the decision. There should have been a foul to come an old Colts over there on the edge of the box, but it wasn't given. And one of their players reacted angrily. It was a bad tackle from behind and uh, yeah, definite red, but it probably shouldn't have got that far. It should have been a free kick to them in the first place, but you can't do that. And he's been sent off. So there you go. Down to 10 men, still 2-0 down with about 15 minutes to go. There he is, Barry Bielsa again, Marcelo Ferguson. Hello everyone, it is the next day now and I am not able to show you the original outro from my video because of some music that's playing in the background and a copyright claim that will be made against it if I upload. So just basically in this outro I was explaining how it was a shame that Combinold couldn't get the, uh, couldn't score in the end but they did play quite well considering what a good team Kelty Hearts are. They're a very good team and they won the league last season like I said earlier. And yeah, Cumbernauld played really well, but couldn't break them down in the end. Kelty Hearts were very quick and very strong and did very well themselves in the game. 
But yeah, I've included a link down below to the Cumbern Old Colts website, where if you're a fan of the club, you can go on there. They are currently streaming games, as you can see from the thing I just pointed out up there, the camera. So yeah, while you can't come to matches, you can still watch the games via their website. Please do check out Buy Sell Football Shirts as well. It is the first link in the description box below. Please do like this video and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Goodbye.